What's happening people? Back in the kitchen again today and for regular viewers of the channel you will have seen last night's video where I made a sausage casserole and the sausage was absolutely phenomenal. The Just Essential Sausage cooked the way I cooked it was phenomenal. However, the casserole vegetables I added, I probably undercooked them. So, today I've got a bit of an idea. <laughs> So it might not work, so this, you might not even see this video, if it's all, if it's horrendous. But we're trying to make a nice beef stew. I have got some Just Essentials stewed steak, and I'm going to add some carrots to it. Now I was thinking about making a pie, but there's no Just Essentials puff pastry, and I've never done a pie before. And that could go really wrong. With that being said, the sausage casserole yesterday, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sausages out of that, I'm going to take the potatoes out, actually I've already taken the potatoes out, you can hear them boiling now. Uh, I'm just going to cook them a bit more in water, soften them up a bit, and, and then I'm going to add the steak, the stewed steak, and the carrots, and some dumplings. So, let me show you what I'm doing over here. So as you can see, I've, uh, I've taken the potatoes out, and I'm just giving them a bit of a boil, um, to to soften them up a bit because they were a bit hard so just soften them up a bit before they go in the stew and I'm actually going to take the remaining sausages out of here I'm not chucking them away we're going to have a sausage and mash for dinner might not fit them all in here though to be fair I think there was five because I had three last night. Yeah, there's five. So that leaves that in there. Nice hearty base for a stew, I suppose. So let's take a look at this Just Essential stewed steak. 392 grams. And that is the uh, nutritional information. The um, traffic light system, or <laughs> actually. 245 calories per half a tin can there we go full ingredients are there, it says beef pieces in gravy 65% beef and that is the full nutritional information 60 grams of protein in this can not bad, not bad ways to cook on the hob or microwave for 84 minutes of course I'm just going to put a bag in the slow cooker add it to that and I'm also going to add some carrots. A lot of people coming and asking where I got these tubs from, and they are from B&M, and they're ten for a pound. They are very, very thick. I mean, that's a that's a tin of steak there, so they're, they're not thick. They're deep, and that's why I got them. They did have a rectangular version, but they're like about that deep, and I prefer a bit more of a container than a an actual normal like um, Tupperware dish so oh yeah I like these coming in handy dishwasher safe microwave safe reusable 10 for a quid can't be bad on prices this stewed steak tin was £1.75 pence so it's pretty hefty in price for a tin of meat and the carrots were 23 pence so £1.98 for that now, of course, oh, I hope I've actually got some dumpling mix. <laughs> Never. I'm going to use Golden Fry Farmhouse Dumpling Mix. These make the best dumplings. The carrots is a no ring pull. Just drain these off and then we'll have a look. Pretty standard sliced carrots. I do like carrots, that's why I'm going to put more in there. There is quite a few in there from that casserole pack, but I'm actually going to put them in here first. Give them a little bit of... Give them a little bit of time with the uh, spuds in there just to soften up again before we go in with the... into the stew. The stew, however, is a ring pull. So, let's have a look at this beef stewed steak so it actually looks 
a bit like the minced beef and onion. I'm gonna get straight into that, into there, this thick. Now, I'm not done with that, I'm gonna put water in that and add it into there. So we'll get this slow cooker on. Give it a, a mix around. Let's see if we can find a piece. There's, there's some nice chunks of uh, beef in here now. That's what you want in a stew. Look at that. Look at that big hearty piece of beef. So, I think there's plenty there. It needs to be a bit, it needs to have a bit more water in there, I think. But that'll come when I do these spuds and carrots in there. So I've drained the water from the carrots and the spuds and I am going to, it's a bit watery right now but I'm going to make, I'm going to actually add a few onion gravy granules, not too much, I don't want to make a full gravy. But I am going to cook that up. Beef and potato stew. Look at that, it already looks beautiful. And it's not even cooked yet. Just gotta let that cook slowly now. It's quite it's still maybe a bit thick, but we can always add a bit of gravy later. I think it's fine that to be fair. So I'm actually going to let that cook for about four hours. I'm gonna let it literally stew as it is a stew before I come back with the dumplings. So I'll see you in four hours. Well, I have been to work and the slow cooker has been on for just over five hours. So hopefully this is nice and stewed up all nice. And it's time to put these in for the last 20 to 30 minutes. So I'll get these mixed up and added to the stew. Can't beat stew and dumplings, can you? Just using half of the bag, the, the box of dumpling mix. I like to make my dumplings fresh. So I'll, I'll make these dumplings and then when I, uh, when I have a second portion, I'll make them again. So, dumpling mix, water. I'm probably gonna need more than that. Give it a mix up. Definitely gonna need more than that. more in there so let's take a look at this there we go look at that wow what a stew that is give it a nice mix it's pretty deep here That is a banging beef stew. It smells unbelievable. Dumplings. Just going to set them. I don't I don't really mind if they're a, a little out of shape. Because in 20 to 30 minutes. They're going to be phenomenal. <laughs> 
that'll do. We've got five nice dumplings, so let's get that covered and watch them rise. So it is all done now. There we go. I have mixed it up, but I did forget to press record. So and I've tasted the dumplings to make sure they're okay. So they might only be four in here. <laughs> that is one there. Oh. Literally the best things in the world, dumplings. So let's get some stew in this bowl. Let's move this back a little bit. Look at this. Wow. There's loads here. We'll get a dumpling or two in there. As it's my favourite part of it. There's still absolutely both loads in there. So we'll put the top back on that. Because I'll be eating it for the next week or so. <laughs> we'll have to get them little magic pots out. There it is. A good old hearty beef, potato, vegetable stew with dumplings. Let's have a taste. So it is taste time and this looks and smells unbelievable. It's a real good hearty stew. The smell in this kitchen, I'm not if, if smelly vision was intend, um, invented, you would be able to smell this. Oh, it's like mum's kitchen. Probably not my mum's, like, but mum's kitchen. So we're going to go straight in with some of this casserole veg from, which has been actually stewing for two days now. Mm, and the potato. They are, they are much better today. I mean, the longer the better you cook it, but this is absolutely delicious. There's big bits of beef from that, um, big bits of beef steak. Try one of them. Mm. Look at that. Look at this. Massive chunks of beef steak. Really tasty. Mm. Melts in your mouth. Just falls apart. Unbelievable. The carrots. Really softened up alongside the potatoes. Mm. I'm so glad I did that. But the dumplings look unbelievable. Oh, can you even beat a dumpling? Look at that. Look at that. Dumplings are probably my favourite winter food. Stew and dumplings. Mm. Wow. This is absolutely delicious. I'm going to have another bowl. <laughs> mm. You know what? This is part 21 of the Just Essentials range. And this is my favourite. This is my favourite out of them all. Value, 10 out of 10. Taste. 11 out of 10. <laughs> oh, it's it's just, it doesn't get any better than this. That is fantastic. So, it makes you, it, it warms your soul. It's, it, it's like, oh, it fills you with love. It's like, inside, it's unbelievable. That That is the best stew. One of the best stews I've ever had. If not the best stew. I love it. It actually came up in my Facebook memories. Probably the last time I had the slow cooker out. And I was made last year, and I made a stew like this, and I can remember it tastes similar to this. Unbelievable. And it's like, what I do, I love to, before obviously food review, when I, I, I make a, a pot of stew like that, and I'd eat it for a week. We'd have the coal on the fire, 
and the, the whole place would look the lights off watching a film or watching telly ball of stew in your hand sat in front of a roaring fire oh it's what british winter's all about if you can't be in the sun that is the second best for me i prefer to be on a beach in glorious weather but that is the second best for me okay that's it wow i can't wait to get tucked into more of this See you at six o'clock.